Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to color a seascape photo in pastel colors in Lightroom. So we're going to turn an image like this into something that looks more like this. This is the image as it was out of the camera. And as you can see, it's really, really underexposed, but that's going to give us a good ultimate exposure on the clouds. So I'm going to start by increasing the exposure here, just looking at the histogram to make sure that I'm getting a fairly good exposure. I'm also going to set a black and a white point before I go too much further. So with the whites, I'm going to hold down Alt or Option and then just drag this out until I start seeing some white pixels. And they're up in the top right corner. So I'm just going to back off until they just disappear. And I'm going to do the same with the blacks, this time holding down Alt or Option, but dragging in the opposite direction. You can see that in the bottom left corner, we're getting just the start of seeing some blacks. And I want to actually see some blacks, so I'm going to just leave that at that setting, which is minus 10, and let go of the mouse button. Now the image isn't straight, and I'm seeing that the horizon line is pretty crooked here. So let's just go and get the Crop Overlay tool, and let's click here on the Straighten tool. What I can do with that is to just drag the tool along where the horizon line is. And that will just straighten it to that horizon line. So I'll just click Done. That's looking quite a bit better to me now. Now I want to get some detail back in the sky, which I've lost by exposing the image correctly. So we'll use a graduated filter. I'll click the graduated filter tool and I want it to stop about halfway down the image. So to get it attached to the top of the image, I'm just going to click here and drag down a little bit. Now it's got all sorts of things happening with it at the moment, but we can disable those easily. So it looks as if it's got a color here. So I'm just going to take the color off by just setting it back to zero. I might add a color in a minute, but right now I don't want that. Everything else looks like it's reset to zero. So let's just start working with the sky. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit so that we darken up the sky. I'm going to straighten this graduated filter a bit too, just make sure it's straight across the horizon line. I might add a bit of saturation into the sky, perhaps bring down the highlights to add a bit of contrast in here, and perhaps some clarity to crisp things up. And I'll click Done. And then we can bring in a graduated filter here on the grass so I'm going to again select the graduated filter tool. I'm going to click and drag in an upwards direction. So I'll just click and drag. I want this on an angle here. If the graduated filter takes off on you, just put it in place, just get it somewhere, and then you can move it a lot more easily, particularly if you're using a mouse and things go a little bit haywire. Well, let's just double click here to reset this effect. And then let's look and see what we might want to do here. Well, for a start, I may want to decrease the clarity, which is going to make this area of grass just a little bit softer. And so your eye won't go quite to it as much as it would if it were sharper. You still want these grasses here to be sharp, but not this down here. And I may also decrease the shadows just to darken that area up a little bit so that your eye is drawn into this lighter area in the image. So I'm thinking that's pretty good, so I'll click Done. And now what I want to do is to start lightening and painting just a little bit of color into the image. So I'm looking here at this area and thinking it could be a little bit lighter. So we'll go to the Radial Filter tool. Now the Radial Filter tool is new in Lightroom 5, so if you have an earlier version of Lightroom, you won't have it. I'm just going to click here to turn all the effects off, and I'm just going to drag out this radial filter here so that it's sort of circular over the area that I want to lighten. If you're using an earlier version of Lightroom, you could get the same effect by using the adjustment brush and just sort of painting in here. So I just want to work out exactly what this radial filter is doing. So I'm just going to do something with it. Well, you can see that the radial filter is affecting what's outside the filter area. I want it to work the other way. So I'm just going to click Invert Mask. So now I'm clear how it's working, I can go and start to make it lighten this area. So it doesn't need to be much lightened, but just a little bit. 
I'm going to make sure that I have a fairly good feather here because I want this lightning effect to be sort of soft around the edges. So I'll click Done. So I've got a little bit of lighter area here. Now I want to bring in a little bit of pink to the sky because I'm seeing that there is sort of the slightest hint of pink in these clouds. So I'm going to enhance that. This time I am going to the adjustment brush and I'm going to make it quite big. And I'm going to use auto mask because I really don't want to capture these blue areas of the sky, but I do want to capture the clouds. So I'm pinning it down and I'm going to start painting over the clouds. And of course we can't really see what's going on here. So I'm going to press the letter O and the letter O shows me the overlay and that's going to show me that I'm picking up the clouds, the darker areas of the clouds and not the lighter areas of the clouds. Now this auto mask feature is really handy for things like this because it basically masks the selection as you make it. Provides you keep that little crosshair cursor in the darker areas of the clouds then you're only going to pick up the darker areas of the clouds in your selection. You're not going to pick up the lighter areas, which we want to leave blue. So once I've got a pretty good selection, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be that hint of colour. I'm going to press O and that's going to turn that mask overlay off because I just wanted to see where the mask was. At any time you could click down here too to see the mask overlay. So the fact that it's pink is just purely coincidental. We actually want to make this pink, but we're going to have to add pink a different way because this is just a mask. It's not actually going to be permanently on the image. And of course, it's way, way too pink. It's actually red. So now that we've made our selection with our brush, we can come down here to the color area. I'm just going to go and pick up a sort of pink color. I'm going to add too much to start off with so that I can just peg the right color that I want. I think this is a pretty good colour and having got the colour I can then just reduce the saturation. And now I'm just going to click the check mark here. And because I've finished adding pink to the sky I can just click Done. And now what I want to do is to add some blue to the ocean. So we're going to get this sort of pastel look to the image. And again I'm going to use the adjustment brush. Just going to select over the ocean. I'm going to press the letter O so I can see. Now I don't want to affect where the I'm highlighted area, the area that I added light to. I just want to affect these other areas. So I'm just going to pull these in with the adjustment brush and leave this lit area just a little bit lighter. Okay, I'll turn off my mask overlay and now I'm going to bring in some blue. I'm just going to go and find the blue color first of all. And when I get a good blue color, and click away I'll just from reduce it. the saturation. Now the only now. thing I'm seeing is that the sky along the horizon perhaps could be a little bit pink. So I'm going to click here on this selector. I'm going to add the horizon line to my selection here. So you can add or subtract from your adjustment brush by just reselecting the adjustment brush pin, which you have to do by going to the adjustment brush itself and clicking here. So you're in edit mode. And now we could either change the effect by changing these sliders or we can bring some extra areas into it. So I'm just going to bring in these areas just along the horizon. I press the letter O, you'll see that they're being added in here. And if I want to erase it, then I can go to the eraser brush. You can also hold the Alt or Option key down and that turns brush A or B into an eraser. And of course, we're not erasing any of the image here. All we're doing is erasing this mask, which is applying the effect to the image. So I'm going to turn off the mask overlay. And now we've got some pink in the sky here and I'll click Done. So let's see the before and after on this image. This is the before, this is the image out of the camera. Not really very inspirational. And here is the image after we've fixed it. We've added this sort of pastel effect to the image and it's turned it into quite a compelling little image. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, 
Illustrator, and a whole lot more.